and welcome to another special giraffe video. This is what's up, Kelly Cube Champs. This is um Vintage Cube Feeder League. It's only up today for the second time ever. Um, we got one the first time, and uh, we're gonna try and get more. You do have to go 4 0 in this league in order to get the token now instead of 3 0. So we're gonna jump in here in just a second, but first a little bit of housekeeping. Thank you all for watching, everyone for your support, including you, Cali Cube James. Joe, you're the bomb. Um, we're gonna uh, there's gonna be a secret uh, hashtag in this video, just like every video on YouTube. If you use that secret hashtag, and you can win a booster box just for watching. Um details at the end um yeah if you like this content please consider supporting by doing all the free things links are in the description of both channels let's get started all right hello and welcome to the draft where's my my little window thingy okay interesting pack here best cards are the one ring and tinker um, probably gonna take the one ring here. Reanimate is also pretty damn good. I wonder if I'm supposed to take reanimate here. Hmm. I don't know where my little like punch out window is. Oh, oh wow. Hmm. This is a tough one. 13 seconds. Reanimate or Tinker? I love Tinker so much. <laughs> or the One Ring. I'm going to take the One Ring because it's colorless, but this could easily be wrong. Wow. I still got a screenshot because it's so laggy. Ooh, and a, we get a Plasto Flash. That is nice. Oh, you're in ads? If you're in ads, you should subscribe. All right, I'm gonna take the flash here. Super high upside card. Nothing really goes with in this pack or this pack, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the flash. Cradle's pretty good. Him is good if you're a heavy black. So, some dual lands here. No fetch lands. Oh god. Just, just give me the flash, damn it. Alright. <clears throat> it hurts to pass a tinker. I don't know if that's correct, honestly. Hey, it's that card that I want Joe to put in his cube, but he won't do it. Displace your kitten. Mm, oh, there's a pyrogoyf. Ooh, pyrogoyf. That's like that's like a fire blast. It's like a fire blast with flash. Have you have you ever flashed a pyrogoyf before? I haven't. <laughs> pyrogoyf is sweet though. Kitten is very very good with the one ring. Mm, there's also a Valk and a really messed up true name nemesis. You have flashed Pyrogoyf. I'm impressed. Did you win? I assume that was lethal. I think I'm going to take Wheel of Fortune. But the Spicer Kitten is on my radar. We're just going to try and do unfair stuff. We have Anor. Why is one card just... Now this is what I call borderless. Look. <laughs> Did you see that? I guess you can. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, where do we go from here now? There's a Flame of Anor. I don't have any wizards yet. Demir's Garden. I might take this Nadu card. I haven't played with it yet in cube, but it could be pretty sweet. 
Obviously, it's not good with Flash. There's also, notably, this Squirrel that combos with Devoted Druid for infinite green mana. You make a food, and they just put all the counters on it. It's also Hex Drinker, Chandra. Mm, Flame is pretty good. I want to try it out. Let's just take this Nadu card. Obviously, we don't have anything that goes with it, but the upside is very high. Ooh, there's a Narset to go with our wheel. There's a Prismatic Vista that looks like it has the border of Territorial Kavu. Is that what a retro border Prismatic Vista is supposed to look like? It's also a Bloodstained Mire. I do want the Bloodstained Mire. Also, this has like a land border, not an artifact border. I don't know what's going on. Something is fucky. I'm just gonna take this Narset, I guess. It hurts to pass fetch land though. If I didn't have a weak draw seven already, I would take the fetch land instead of the Narset. Hmm, Shell dock. That's pretty nice. A doomsday. I don't have dark ritual or black lotus though. Ulamog, if we get a channel. I think the combos. Yeah. I'm gonna just like Shell Dock, I guess. Shell Dock's pretty good with Wheel of Fortune. It almost instantly turns it on. The flashing Ulamog does not do anything, by the way. Unless you have a Vault Barn Toy already in play, but I think I'd rather just flash the Tyrant. Ren and Six. So Breed, Druid, Chalice. Interesting. I guess it's going to be the Ren and Six. This pack is kind of not very good for us. Um, could just be a Braid and just stay straight blue-red. No. I'm not going to play Nadu unless we get Greaves and other creatures. Maybe it's Paradise Druid. It seems kind of weak, though. I want to take the Ren and Six. Pretty high upside. Like, if we get a Strip Mine, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so this is, yeah, we'll wait. We haven't seen this back yet. Okay, so there's a bobble with a land border. There's a hedge maze, which could be, which is good if we're playing green. But there's also pyrokinesis. Probably going to take pyrokinesis. Really good with draw sevens uh, against the creature decks. Yeah, I think that's going to be the pick. All right, well, time to see what wheels. Talon Gates, Raging Ravine, Mastermind, Scolding. I've not seen any big flash things. What didn't come back? Obviously Tinker and Reanimate. The Oracle didn't come back, so we're not taking that Doomsday. Lelia, obviously. Exploration, interesting. Path over thing. I think it's going to be Raging Ravine. Nah. There's just no reason for me to best really be green right now. Although, although, now there's a Cradle that's wheeling. It makes the Nadu look better. It's also a Conspire buff. <sighs> Wait, you're saying when you flashed your Pyrogoyf, you hit a creature with it, Joe? That's crazy. Should I take this cradle here? No. Well, regrets. No, you hit face. But you only had two mana. Feel it is kind of funny with Nadu. Well, I passed the cradle. Yeah. Okay, greens on the earth can that can get a Nadu. There's also a thing here. I wish this green sun zenith came with a free dryad arbor, you know. Don't think we're phoenixing. Orcish lumberjack. Sure would be nice. I wonder what kind of genius thought of that package deal. Well, I guess we'll never know. Lumberjack. Could be these. Do I have a... Where's my sideboard? Oh, it's over here. Well, 
Not the best pack one. Green red, green white is so open, but it's also like so bad. Ooh, there's a saga. It's not very good with what we have, but it's just a good card. There is an old font. Um, Coppermine Gorge, Dig Through Time, Trick Mage. Same problem with Saga. Crop Rotation. What exactly am I doing here? Oh, I'm trying to flash things. There's nothing flashy here, though. I mean, it's only pack, beginning of pack two. There's a Saga has time to be good. There's no Shuko to get with Nadu, though, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'll take the fucking saga. Give me, give me, give me, give me. All right, does that? I guess we are gonna play the green because we're getting all these green cards for free. There's a psychic frog, windswept teeth. Oh, Primus, gut. Ooh, okay, okay. I can get Skull Clamp. That's true. Good call, Joe. Oh, do I just take this Primus? I mean, it's if we're ramping, it's good with Zenith. It's awesome with Flash. You just kill their first two lands, and then you have a 5-5 five, five Trample, and you really say, good luck. Probably supposed to take the Primus here, but there's a Windswept piece, which doesn't do anything if I'm not going to play green, but, you know. So a Subtlety? That's a good one. It's also a gut. We're not really a creature deck, though. All right, all right. If this was a blue fetch land, this would be harder, but I'll just take the stupid Primus. Ooh, speaking of blue fetch lands, this is like the perfect fetch land for us. I mean, we don't have any other duels right now, but, you know. Cool treachery art. Coveted Jewel and Blight Seal Colossus for the person who took Tinker. Wait, no, from the person who took Tinker. Hmm, interesting. All right. We're going to look out for one mana artifacts. This is Saga. I'm going to take this Misty. Ooh, what Wooded Foothills? Don't mind if I do. Also, there's a Eureka and a Tamiyo, but gimme, gimme, gimme. The wooded foothills. Boop. All right, now mana is good. Well, it's pretty good. See, there's a surveil land here. It's fanatic. Siege shark. Siege shark's pretty good with saga. It's very good with pyrokinesis. Not good with flash, obviously. Um. I mean, I guess I got a 2-2. I cast Flash and just don't put anything in play. Flash out in a Fanatic and then Eternalize it? Uh, uh, um, probably not, though. Kind of just want to take this Commercial District. So, I will. To survey a land that I can get off of both of my fetches. Ooh, torches. Now, that's something that's good with Flash. If this Lava Spot Brutes comes back. It's possible. That gives us another thing to Saga for. Give me that, Torsten. Ooh, it's a Might. Ooh, a Shadow Spear. Hmm, those are good things to Saga for. Shadow Spear in a fair matchup. Pretty nice on some giant constructs. Also a Consider. If I want to be, like, all in Flash. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not like it's preordain. Take the shadow spear, I guess. Plus, shadow spear can—I mean, it can quit for two mana for Nadu. Survival, Holgak, Land Border, Crucible, Kavu. This could be a Kavu deck. It's not really a Nissa deck. Survival. Mm, survival's not bad with Flash. But we'd have to play a lot more creatures to play survival. Hmm. I 
I think I just want the big dumb kavu. Give me crop rotation. It's kind of good with this saga card. Manifold key that untaps our one ring. Doesn't do anything else. I guess it's three mana draw a card with Nadu. Uh, it's also a tough cookie. And tough cookies is like kind of good with Saga. But I'm going to take this for time. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so there's a Soul Cauldron. That's kind of good with Nadu. What else does it go with? If we get a Gristle Brand. And we bin it, and then we Soul Cauldron. It's like we reanimated it. Um, and Soul Cauldron is at least a, well, there's a Stone Forge. Nah. Okay. Death Rite. This is actually looking like a pretty good Death Rite deck. We got two fetches. Saga, Surveil Land, Watley, no Dinos. Benjamin, not really doing that either. Also, this stupid raccoon. I don't mind death right here, I think. Pretty good to have a green one drop for Zenith, also. Okay, DRC. Yeah, did you hear? Eureka. I mean, Eureka could be okay if we're doing flash things. I guess. Okay, Fanatic, Rabble Master, Challenger. I guess it's just Fanatic. All right. Oh, the boots came back. Hey, that's a one mana equipment. Or an uh, equipment that equips for one. We have another domain deck. Maybe. Where's our power? Where's my power? I mean, I guess I'll take Passive Age Station. Don't really have any way to make Emrakul or Ulamog. Birds is pretty good. Flashing these doesn't do anything. Flashing this kind of does something. All right, I guess we're just a Nadu deck with flash stuff. This Pyrokinesis is not looking that good because we don't have that many red cards. But we will take this pest infestation and be mildly happy. I don't, not that happy. I mean, I don't have any power, which is pretty rough when you got to go 4-0 and Vintage Cube. Take the stupid infestation. Well, now I kind of wish that, um, ooh, a halfling. Uncounterable Narset, Uncounterable Nadu. It's pretty hot. Also Memory Lapse, also pretty hot. Um, Halfling has a legendary border. What is going on, Magic Online? You crazy. I don't really want any of these lands. I mean, they could help me hard cast Torsten, but like, fucking whatever. I think it's memory lapse. I mean, Halfling, if we're going, like, hard on Nadu. Okay, fine. Give me... Ooh, Preordain? Breach. Can we breach anything? I'm flashing any of this stuff. It's all crap. Awesome. I guess it's just a Preordain, then. Relic is not bad. But this is kind of interesting. Yeah, I guess that's just Preordain. There's just nothing we can do with Breach, right? Not really. If I had a Brain Freeze and a Lotus Petal or an LED, sure. But I don't. So, crap. Stomping Ground. That helps our mana a lot. It's also a Grist. Titania. There's a Lotus Petal. Man, we're just not going to have any power. That's a bummer. Okay. Um, 
These cards are pretty good with Saga. But I want an untapped red sword so I can get with my fetch lands. So come here, stomping ground. Oh, there's a micro spawn if we took that guy as cradle. Kind of regret not taking it now. Shallow grave. We have a lot, probably too many creatures for Shadow Grave. We don't have Fast Bond, so we don't want Courser. There's a Teferi, which is kind of interesting. Not splashing Teferi, though. Or are we? It's also a stupid Malcolm. My Ghost Bond can get Saga? Do I have Colorless Mana? I have an Urza Saga. I have a halfling. I guess it probably is micro spawn. It sucks that we know we can't get soul ring. Or, well, yeah, soul ring. But it sucks that we know. Give me this. I want this tyrant. Um, oh, passing arrow kind of stinks, but tyrant is another really good flash thing. What was I think saying? Oh, it sucks. Then we know we can't get cradle. Guess we should have probably took it. Oh well, give me give me this tyrant. Press down, int. Washing in an int. Get a food token. Let's go. Press down. Would be kind of sweet with that arrow we just passed. I don't think the int though. I don't have any blue forests to get right. I do not. Hmm. That's okay, though. I mean, Eureka. I mean, end with Eureka. Not really the worst thing. Pyromancer. Talisman. I think I like Talisman here. Helps us get turn three one ring or just ramp. And it helps our our saga tokens. Sure. Goif. Yavamaya. Are we goifing? We don't have the pyro goif. Yavamaya helps us cast Woodfall Primus. Thirty-six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we could take a land here. Savannah, star, star is another thing we can get with Saga. Helps our fixing a little bit. Druid, we don't have any of the combos with Druid. Actually, no. Savannah. We have other ways to cast Torch than if we really need to, I guess. There's a Depths. Shorakai. Prime Mage. Um, your Prime Mage for this sideboard. So we have the screens on the other. Ooh, a Grist? Or a Spell Bomb. Grist. No, we can't splash Grist. All right, we can give it the spell bomb. No, oh, we could have had, we could have wheeled step stage right at the end there, but I take jar. Oh, Uro came back. Hell yeah, get in here, buddy. Homus Barjuts is just as good with Nadu as it is with Skull Claim. Maybe even better. Alright. Oh, my period is still fucked up? Love that. Gotta love it. Alright. Magic Online. Alright, well. We have some unfair flash things we can do. But also. Let me put the Int in the lands as well. And at, but at the same time, oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna put the two domain creatures in the sideboard as well. The Renin Six. Let's go to Saga. Two R fetches. Sure. It's also a Horizon Canopy. Maybe we play that. Like, it's good with Ren. Let's us hardcast Torsten if we need to. Don't think I want Grim. One, two, three other red cards. I don't think I want Pyrokinesis after all. Ren 6 is a great delayed bird spell. So. Oh, you're so funny, Joe. Okay. Um, Artifact count. One, two, three, four. We ended up with four things our saga can get. That's pretty good. Except these are not that good. Four. And then there's a talisman. Oh, wow. If I exile this as Soul Cauldron, then I have Ferocious. The Uro can tap for four. Let's go. Do I care about this Soul Cauldron? Michael Spawn getting Urza Saga. Like, decent, I guess. I could also get Sheldock. It's pretty good. Stuff with one toughness. Yeah, it's true. All right. Um, do I want to dig through time? With Uro? Probably not. It's pretty good with wheel. But like Narset and the wheel aren't even looking that good right now. Uh, let's sort display. No, wait. Sort. And a value. Huh? Quick creature separately. There we go. Oh. All right. The thing I hate the most about this deck is there's no power. We've got ramp, ramp. Well, actually, the death rate's not even that good of ramp, is it? It's really not. Okay. It's 26 cards. Zero power. Cern Scolding's a little awkward. It's like one of our only instants. Is Eureka good enough? It's not, is it? It's kind of sweet with Tyrant. Torsten. Not that good with Primus. It could come in in specific matchups, maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing, Joe. Victor Time makes our Uro worse. Not that good with Fnatic either. Eureka is just show and tell, but for one more mana? Not if you have more than one thing to put into play. Alright, so what can this deck do when we get stuck with fatties in our hand? Nothing, right? What can we print on Soul Cauldron? Affling, Fanatic. Their stuff? Not very good. That's a sideboard card. Jar. What is Jar doing for me? <laughs> Look, I've never played Eureka before in my life. The only time I played Stone Tell is when I boarded it in against you when you're on Luris. And it was awesome. Alright, this is 16 lands. I don't hate it. We didn't get the Lightning Greaves. So this Nadu is like pretty fair. Jar over Microspawn. It's also the whole matter of dig through time. Oh I can't I can't even Green Sun Janus for Microspawn. That's funny. Oh. Jar with Narset? It's not that good. 
It allows you to like jar on your turn. And they just they draw one card. Yeah. Jar is pretty good with Sheldock though. Stupid Devoid. Not that I would wanna Green Sun Zenith for my Ghost Bond. That's just putting a Grey Ogre into play for one extra mana. I don't wanna do that. Um I got the digger time for jar. Or the micro spawn, I guess. I don't know. If I had whole breacher, I would love jar a lot more. <laughs> this isn't the best Narset deck. But it's good with wheel. Am I even gonna be able to board in the spirokinesis? I guess in matchups where do I want lumberjack? Probably not. I'm not gonna have that many forests. Although I could have all the forests. All of them. Everything's lumberjack food. Do I want lumberjack? Not really. What am I lumberjacking into? One ring? Maybe one of these fatties? No lumberjacks. Makes my mana a lot worse too. Yeah, no lumberjack. Six, 15 lands and a generous int. So one cut. Um, how many artifacts do I have now? I mean, it could be micro spawn. You, Joe, you don't like micro spawn that can get Urza Saga? Or like a surveil land. Ramps me into like fair casting one of these fuckers. I think. Yeah, it's pretty uh you're right. I don't know end up with that many creatures anyway, so cradle not like cradle would be awesome. It's a three man a four mana three three that gets you an uncounterable anything on the battlefield. Uncountable any land. I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna cut takes your time. So I wanna use wheel and memory jar to fuel my row. I think this is it. I don't know. You hope the spawn is impressive for me? I mean if I had Dress Gradle would be better. Or Tolarian Academy. But we didn't see Academy during the draft. Alright. So, Ent can get me Stomping Grounds or Commercial District. Fortunately, I do not have a Forest Island. <laughs> you have your eye on the Micro Spawn. Look, the first eye... I mean, there's also a Stern Scolding. It's just here. It probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want Stern Scolding this deck. This is a tap out deck. Anyways, let's add some lands. I've got early green, early blue. Wow, my only red is Wheel, Renin 6, and Manamorphose. That's fine. We're basically golden for red. We've got a Wooded Foothills, a Misty, a Spire Buff. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, without even adding a basic mountain. Don't even need a basic mountain. I even have Star. I only have nine creatures. These equipment are looking a little sketch. 
I got this green zone units. I got... Oh, I can't wait to tap Fnatic for four green with escape on the stack and cast one ring for my spawn. That'll be fun. Um, let's see. I only have three basic land types, so like I don't really want to play Kabu or Brawler. Deathrite is not that good here either. Ren six is like something. Hmm. <laughs> right, I'll figure it out. I, no, I don't want to play a Plains Magic Online. Fuck off. All right, uh, I need to add six lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven green sources already. And I have one, two, only three blue sources plus talisman. Okay. I do want a lot of untapped green sources on turn one to play high fling. So that's one. Man, I wish I had a bristly bill. Bristly bill would go so well in this deck. One, two. Three, four, five, six. That's only six. Ugh. Yeah, Tropical Island would go a long way in this deck. It's possible we could cut all the red, but then we have to play like Cauldron Stern Scolding. Maybe Brawler? No, nah, red's just like pretty free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? Oh, eight. <laughs> Shut up. I can metamorphose on green and you know it. All right, I have Ent. Did I count wrong? The D land plus Ent is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green sources. Wow. All right, suddenly don't like the dig through time anymore. That makes Narset worse, but at least the let it have link can cast Narset. And so can Metamorphose. We have all this red fixing. And it's just kind of useless because we're not really red. Yeah. This is just something we can play early that goes to the graveyard. I don't love this deck. I wish I had an attract so it's a reanimation. <laughs> then this flash would be really good. It's fine. Five, six, seven, eight. Deep blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green. I need green pretty bad. I could go down to seven blue. I guess. Oh, God. 
Magic Online, you're so weird. All right. Wish I had a dual in that was green and blue, but here we are. Let's uh, play some magic. Win some trophies. Awkward sauce. Stern scolding be a soul cauldron. Probably not. New cube I built has stifle knot as a deck in it too. That's that's pretty sweet. My deck looks great. Are you sure? There's no power. There's no power. The mana isn't that great. Our un Oh, from my pool. Okay. Sure. If this were a seal pool, yeah, I nailed it. <laughs> uh. Oh, I have to press play, not just save. Whoops. All right, let's jam. Let's hope to draw a lot of flash. Let's go. Let's just flash some people. <laughs> uh, I have his talisman. Turn one Urza Saga is not great. Let's Saga, turn one. Get a forest stomping ground. Then Talisman, Boots, or Pyrdane. Eh, I guess it's Keeper. Run the draw, too. Yeah. Give her runes. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I don't have to play Saga turn one. Perfect. Um, hmm. So I could just preordain. Let's preordain. If we get Flash, it's like GG. I don't think I care for these cards right now. Shell looks kind of tempting with Memory Jar. But none of these cards are Flash. That snack card's not Flash either. Spoiler alert. Okay, so now I can go Saga Boots. Or Saga Talisman Boots. Start making constructs. Fanatic. It's kind of interesting too. I don't have a land in my hand, so probably just Talisman for Ent, actually. Yeah. Don't need to play the boots yet. Containment Priest. Well, that'll be a good one to remember. And a Steel Seraph. Okay. Sure. Oh, let's do I still want a stomping ground? <laughs> I 
What am I doing here? Yeah, they're kind of beating me down, but I kind of need it. Metamorphose. Okay. So I can just play. This can be is actually a problem for me. For Flash and Green Sun Zenith, it's so good against both of those things. I could play Fnatic. And if I put the boots on it, I still can't make a construct. I think I'm just making constructs and then getting my Shadow Spear. Yeah, that's probably the plan, actually. Probably races them pretty good, pretty well. Mm -hmm. Take five, go to nine. That part's not great. Let's check my stops. Yeah, I think Shaspir is the the key here. I mean, removal gets me pretty good here. But then I'm still not dead. I have another construct. They're gonna prevent. Wait. What is this? Marsto? Okay. Sure. I'm happy with that. Okay, it doesn't protect itself. All right, they scoop. All right, Resto, Steel Seraph, Giver. All right, so maybe the Pyrokinesis is awesome. Grim Lava Mancer also could be awesome. Primage can hit the Steel Seraph. Hmm. Probably just want Grim. Grim is good against what they showed me. Pyrokinesis is also good. I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough red spells. <coughs> just sold out our opponent with Urza Saga. Just like we drew it up. Stern Scolding is gonna be great. That's a good backup for the stupid containment priest. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, five other red spells for this pyrokinesis. I don't think I want memory jar anymore. I also jump lumberjack. That's another red spell. Um. Yeah, I agree, Jill. Is Do you think it's worth putting in all these medium red spells, like in Pyrokinesis? I do want a zero mana answer for Damon Priest. Like right now, I just have Stern Scolding and Lava Mancer. They do have the giver, yeah. It kills the giver, though. Alright, Kalu out. Pyrokinesis is out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this go. Let's just jam it. Oh, look, another saga hand. Cool. Grand six, green sun zenith. I don't have green mana, but I do have this metamorphose. Let's keep. They didn't really show me X ones for Ren and Six, did they? No. Probably just Shell Dock in here. A Nadu, eh? I could cast turn three Nadu. I could fuck with some Nadu. I'm Shell Docking. <laughs> classic. Classic. Classic my Shell Docks. Let's just put a cantrip under the shell deck. Let's go. So Manamorphose for... So I can go... I can't play Saga this turn and Manamorphose. It's already is a 2-2. Two -two. That's kind of a bummer. I could bounce it and then run and six it. I don't hate that. Hmm. Green Sun Zenith for Delighted Halfling. That's probably pretty good. Preordain. Do I still want the Divided Halfling? I think so. Let's get this Green Sun Zenith out of here while we still can. They are playing blue after all. Now we can't get owned by a Containment Priest with Green Sun Zenith. Okay. Actually, it's really hard to run in six Luminarch. Oh, which all Primus? Hmm. Well, I mean, if we draw a Flash, probably game. Vaultborn Tyrant and a Wheel of Fortune. I don't think I want either of those. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Green Sun Zenith. I missed you. This is a saga. Let's. Let's play this Nadu card. It's uncounterable. Oh no, opponent. Oh, that, that doesn't counter it. That's worse for me. Damn, I got interrupted. Rude. Pretty rude, honestly. I'm taking a lot of damage now. Okay, what can we Zenith for now? Uh, Not much. A fanatic. A neuro. Alright, we're sagging now. We found the Shadow Spear. We have the Nadu. I mean, Nadu can only block one of these. I can cast Nadu and still have Saga up. So, I guess that's what we're going to do. They might not do. Okay. And then Shadow Spear or Spellbomb. 
But I think it's better just to make a construct. There's the priests. Okay. Well, this green zone has just got a heck of a lot worse. Attack me for four. That's fine. Honestly, I might suit up this Nada with Shadow Spear. Let's make a construct. Do I make another construct? And then what, get Lava Spore Boots? I have the Spell Bomb and the Shadow Spear already. Yeah, probably it's just Boots. So I can make... Yeah, this is fine, I think. I'm at six. Shadow Spear on Nadu is not like that good against Interrupter. Wait, wasn't this a Yavamaya? Before I my saga went off? What the hell? Thought it was a Yavamaya. Right, well now I have to shock to equip the arrow spear. That kind of sucks. I mean I have these boots. I have 24 cards. Oh, those stars under there. Yeah. Um, probably need to bounce one of these things. So let's just boots the construct. Or I can shock, play Shadow Spear, equip Shadow Spear. And this would be a 5-5. Five five. And they have so much mana up. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna I am gonna shock here. I'm gonna equip boots to this construct. Proc the Nadu. Microspone. Okay. Spell bomb. Swing for five. Pass. This is slightly better against removal. Skydiver. Okay. What are you stealing? My boots? Oh, it gets haste? Oh, no. Okay, well. How do you can still block that? Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Oh yeah, these are all lethal now. Cool skydiver, bro. I am dead now. Okay. Sort of like a blue white flash deck. Pretty annoying, honestly. Cern Scolding looks awesome here, though. It counters all their stuff.
They haven't shown me any counter spells. They also haven't shown me any X ones except for that Skydiver. Yeah, maybe we do try to jam the Pyro. Kind of agree. Take out the Narset. Bring in the Kavu. Take out the. I kind of want to say the wheel. Or the Micro Spawn. Or the ring. Ride of Flame? I think Ride of Flame's a little crazy, Joe. Cut the micro spawn. But it, it gets Urza Saga uncounterably, Joe. But they haven't shown me any counters, so whatever. Fine. I would like to go get first. Interesting. Okay. It's these. Keep. Just to get more red cards? No. No, that's crazy, man. Oh, district turn one. I don't think I want the horse. Thank you. Ocelot Pride. You bastard. Man, I can play this stupid Kavu. I guess we played stupid Kavu. It is still a 2 2. Green, red, Kavu. And a giver. That's pretty rude. I can still bounce it. Play Island, gets Kavu bigger. Play... Talisman, Tough Talisman for a Spell Bomb. <laughs> If I bounce it, though, I can't stern scolding it the same turn. Unless I just don't play the talisman there. They're fetching. Spellbinder. Yep. <laughs> So they can get one cat here. Oof. What does my Missy get? No more surveil lands. Yeah, I think Kafu's attacking. Man, we're rummaging. Ren and six. There we go. All right. Six 
exactly like you drew it up, Joe. Yep. Just a little late. I think I want to use my spell bomb to save this run in six. But, like, I guess it's better to bounce the cat. Because then it's on one. I can at least get this. Oh, okay. They're hitting my Kavu. Yeah, it's a bummer. Alright, let's draw Flash maybe. Jesus. That's not good. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, if we draw a Vaultborn Tyrant, we can cast it next turn. <laughs> Bye, Ren and Six. You did things for me. Pretty good things. They have three cards in their hand. It's kind of scary, honestly. Wheel! <laughs> Okay, well, what are we doing if we don't go for it, right? Uh, I don't need this much blue. I don't think I have any double blue cards left in my deck, but I don't think I need triple green either. Red, blue, green. Wheel of... Please don't counter. If it interrupt her. No. Awkward. So much better than a remand here. I think we, I think we might be fucked, team. And it's a Felia? Yeesh. Air deck sweet. They can blink the apparition with Felia. Give me a token and then I could block with the token if they do it now. Well, I think we drew a little bit too many lands, folks. Or trouble. All right, let's try that again. Oh. Wheel of resolve, please. Chamber priest, okay. I can still eternalize after this. Flash Torsten. That is not too shabby. <laughs> Still have four damage in the air, though. What can we great size against for? Nadu. I think it all starts with Flash Torsten. <laughs> Good luck at your next draft if you have time. Wow. Joe thinks we lost we already. No. Oh. Right. Containing Priest. Okay. Well. 
Well, well, well. <laughs> I forgot they just flashed that little bastard in. Not like this hand does anything in Entertainment Priest anyway. It's not the best wheel hand in the world. This fanatic doesn't do anything against Felia, but maybe they won't notice. That was a bad matchup. All right. And the deck wasn't awesome either. Definitely had some problems. Number one being, we have zero power. We don't really have any fast mana except for one halfling. And what? Green Sun Zenith Fanatic, I guess. Um, I was like, what happened? Where did my Torsten go? Stupid containment priest. All right, that was a bad matchup, I think. Um, they didn't really show me any counter spells. I don't think they... Did they play a single blue card? I don't know if they did. But uh, let's... Uh, we'll try again in the next video. Um... Not exactly sure what we were supposed to be drafting. Flyer that took my artifact for lethal. Oh yeah, that one. You're right. This the sky thing. Yeah, that was a good card against me. Well, well, well. I don't have that much to say about this deck. It was a little short, and there's no power. Probably could never four zero. But uh, but we tried, we tried. Let's uh, thank you all for watching. The secret hashtag is gonna be sewing. The secret hashtag is sewing. Um, use that secret hashtag along with your. <laughs> As long as your feedback in the YouTube video. And if you're subscribed, you'll be entered the winner booster box. What do you mean the reason I lost, Joe? I never drew it. It never mattered. You just want to be right about it. I'm not saying it was a, the greatest include. I think it getting Saga is kind of reasonable, though. Saga was great. All right, so use that secret hashtag. Hopefully, if you like this content, please subscribe and do all the free things um, in the descriptions. If you're on one channel, the link to the next <laughs> link to the other channel is, is also in the description. So check that out. Do all the free things to support me if you can, and if you can support it, so Twitch subs are six dollars a month now not five up from five and they're also but they're free once per month if you have prime gaming which you'd have if you have amazon prime so maybe maybe i'm the one streamer who gets that i appreciate i would appreciate that um but you don't have to like i said i love you all for support um there are no prizes to claim this time so that piece of feedback not exactly relevant um on to the next draft. Bye-bye.